Shama. I've won a competition with the Fantastic Impossible blog. They're whisking me off somewhere. I don't know where, but I know it's going to be fantastic. We're at St. Pancras International outside the Eurostar terminal. Let's head off. The best way to start the day is in the Eurostar Premier Lounge. And the eating begins. Cheers. <laughs> so it turns out that our winner is actually a chef. So her prize will be centered around food. <laughs> so we've arrived in Brussels. We're taking the cab to a lovely restaurant. And here we go. Enjoying a beautiful fresh fruit cocktail in this wonderful garden with an absolutely beautiful waterfall behind us. For over 25 years, La Trappe Noire has been offering Belgian diners with the best combinations of truffle infused cuisine. A carpaccio of beef with delicious sliced black truffles. A mushroom salad and perhaps one of the best tuna tartare of late. Served here with a beautiful tomato relish. If those dishes were insufficient, then came the pièce de résistance. Beautiful, fresh winter truffles. Hare initially, chicken stuffed with foie gras, and lobster with chanterelle mushrooms. They seemed naked until we added these beautiful, beautiful, uh, beautiful truffles. And of course dessert wasn't lacking with these beautiful wild strawberries. And perhaps in an ironic twist of fate, to honor our prize winner, whose name actually means flower, a wonderful sunflower-shaped fresh fruit dessert. Then, did you enjoy your meal? Absolutely. I wear my truffles. Delicious. Voila. And but then it's not even the best moment. If you come in the winter, or in autumn, we will have the white and the black truffle. This is a magic moment. But for now, eh? The garden is fantastic to have meal in the city with all those beautiful flowers. Even the food is better. Moments later, I found myself in the Grand Place of Brussels. And what's this I hear? Is that a spire on top of the city museum? And are those two maidens in distress? I'm Julian. I'm the guardian of the museum. But I'm locked up. Oh no, calamity! Who's going to rescue the maidens? Ladies, I understand there is somebody up here who needs rescuing. Oh, yeah. I'm at the Grand Place in a beautiful museum sitting in the spire. After having the most luxurious lunch, uh, within half an hour we've decided to have a most wonderful treat as well. I never thought I'd come here and I'm so happy that I have come here and I'm enjoying this canal. And a big shout out to Babel in London who provided us with a box of delicious canals. Hey Shama, how do you feel? <laughs> uh, on top of the world. <laughs> Cheesy. <laughs> Behind me is the museum where we were earlier looking down from the spire. From down here in the plaza it looks absolutely magnificent. And of course no trip to Brussels would ever be complete without a trip to the various chocolate stores. For us we are fortunate enough to have tastings at three of them. Here first at Galler we tried some lovely flavours. Then moments away we discovered some beautiful biscuits at Elizabeth and were presented with a lovely box of Delightful truffles. Yummy. And in the beautiful, beautiful Royal Arcade, just moments from the Grand Place, we found ourselves in one of the oldest chocolatiers in Brussels, New House. A whole host of beautiful chocolates, milk and dark. Yummy. So this is the end of my fantastic day in Brussels. We've spent our time eating, shopping, sightseeing and being gifted beautiful chocolates. Please do share the pictures and the videos and you too could possibly win a trip somewhere. Find us on Twitter, Instagram, on our main website or also on our Facebook page. And don't forget to like and share for your chance to win next year.